Students don't have an attention problem. The problem is that the content that they're consuming in school is just not engaging enough. In this video, we'll be going deep on how we can make the classroom more engaging so it feels more like playing a video game instead of learning from a textbook. In this video, I'll go over three concepts that you can apply to turn your classroom into a video game so your students are more engaged and actually want to listen and want to learn. If you're new here, my name is Lucas and I help teachers get the most out of their students across all areas of life with the art of gamification. So you can turn whatever lesson into a game to get more engagement and really help your students prepare for the future. You may be familiar with project-based learning, which has tremendous positive effect on the student's outcome on what they're learning because they retain so much more information because they're actually doing these things instead of just reading or listening about whatever you're teaching them. But instead of just having projects, I encourage you to go another step further and turn your projects into full-out quests like many of your students will be familiar from video games. And with these quests, it's basically the same thing as a project, but you just sell that to them in a different way that is more engaging. So in a quest, you still have your learning outcomes, which can be turned into tasks and objectives that the students need to complete in order to also complete the quest, as well as the resources that they have to help them along their quest. And lastly, a reward that shows the students why they are doing these things. And these rewards can be like tangible things and you will be able to do these things and this will help you or you can gamify this a little bit more and go into a scoring system where you give points or experience points to these students and they get to level up with them so instead of grading them and i guess you can also add this on top of grading but i'd like to compare this to grades because with grading you take away from their uh, grade every time they make a mistake but with scores you start at the bottom and everything they do that like is a positive thing their score increases which is so much more motivating if your score keeps going up the more effort you put in instead of like your grade going down the more mistakes you make and we want to encourage mistakes because we learn from mistakes. So with the scoring system, you would be able to encourage your students and reward them for the things that you feel are the right direction the student has to turn. So this is the second concept of scoring. The third concept is achievements. And this takes the scoring system up a notch because with achievements, you get to reward students for specific milestones they have reached. And you can still reward them with experience points. But I think with achievements, you can not only reward in individual students for, hey, you have reached this milestone or you have completed this set of quests and this is like a badge of honor that their students can wear. And you can even connect that to like extrinsic rewards, like, okay, we get to go on a field trip or get to like get some ice cream or something, or we will have more of a chill class where we eat breakfast together, like something that the students actually want. And you can also have class-wide achievements to encourage cooperation where the students have to work together. So, you can say once like all of the students reach a specific level my class or has these difficult quests then everyone gets like a bonus or something and with these achievements you can really help with the cooperation of the students to have yes they want to like compete in a friendly way and try to reach to the top but not every student is as competitive so you can use these achievements where you tie these group achievements to a whole class and with that you can really help or encourage and incentivize the higher students or the, the better performing students in that specific class to support the other students. And if this works throughout multiple classrooms, you really can create this community of students that really want to help each other because they want to get to these next achievements because they get more points. And with these more points, they get to go on like all these field trips or other things that you personally know how to reward your students the best way.